Welcome back everybody to another Should You Watch here on the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing an anime from the summer 2023 anime season, My Little Senpai. And I'm going to be reviewing that with the help of My Little Senpai, Aline. And she's going to start off by describing what this anime is about. My tiny senpai, get it right bro, is what did I say? little. My little. What did I say? Little sen- I said little sen- <laughs> It's si- tiny. Yeah. They're synonymous, but not quite the same. So anyway, in this anime, May, we have a sweet summer romance budding at the adult office. It's the adult office edition of romance the adult office that does things and makes things and does reports yes we're at this office there is a group of people working on the same team and two of these people consist of pro tycoon our boy who just loves his tiny senpai takuma whatever takuma and wants to get with her and we get to see their romance blossom with the help of their manager and other co-workers at times yes the other co-worker is a childhood friend of main character kun and tiny senpai is named shiori thank you jeremy but yeah it's a workplace comedy slash romance mostly romance but with some comedy thrown in and it is entirely centered around our main character trying to awkwardly get with the tiny boss senpai senpai whatever she's his supervisor they're on the same team they have a manager who's the same person yep she refers to him as her cohort or something cohort like she refers to him by a term that essentially means that he reports to her i think she's like the team leader and the manager is the manager of multiple teams i would imagine but yeah so the romantic situations happen awkwardness a lot of blushing probably too much blushing and uh, she's a cat or something she very much likes cats and they give her cat features a lot and it's weird yeah they give her a little chibi cat form and it pops up a lot she also meows at bushes you know like you do well she's trying to get the cats that are hidden inside to reveal themselves it's a magic bush of magical proportions there honestly isn't really much to talk about with this anime it's typical romance anime where situations arise they get nervous but they're nice to each other and they are concerned about each other's feelings and the things that are affecting them and they're a little bit more forward than most romance anime i feel like we watched up through three episodes and they're already have been on a date and like she's made him food and been over to his house and all that kind of stuff it's not like oh we going through the entire season and oh gasp second to last episode we're getting like a date or something that can be misconstrued as a date but it's not actually a date or whatever but they actually seem to both recognize that there's feelings there and they're you know soft pedaling their way towards them i think that this anime leans very heavily on the fact that senpai is in fact tiny as in the title and that's the main defining feature this girl is short she's short and that's pretty much all they have going but as we continue to make our way through the anime we see that she's caring because she brings some food when he's sick and she reviews his work and he's got that awkward oh my god she touched me oh my god is this a date thing going on which I guess is a thing that happens in real life but I find very weird when it's depicted in any sort of media but at the same time I'm like at least he likes this girl and they've actually interacted before like one of my biggest pet peeves is when you have any sort of romance romantically bent set of characters and one of them's like i love this person but they've never spoken before yeah. girl what it has already progressed he has bought her an apron he is already telling her to get in the kitchen they might as well be married wow <laughs> girl i think it's cute they associate with each other in a cute way obviously they're not coming out and being like confessing their love for each other or their feelings for each other but they both i think have an understanding that there's something there even if they're kind of nervous to pursue it i think it's funny that the manager is trying to play matchmaker and is like i'll give you the day off go check on him and that kind of thing or he was gonna give both of them the day off to go like hang out with each other he did in fact give both of them the day off spoilers to go hang out with each other and the childhood friend is reluctantly in on it because the manager's just dragging her along and i think it's cute i think the character designs are fine they're pretty generic i like tiny senpai's design except for the fact that she has really oversized boobs which i don't think fit her proportions no like that's the one thing that kind of detracts from her design i feel like because she has like a weird profile with like how she's set up i also do find it funny that her english voice actor is someone who also is known for playing another short character who's one of their defining characteristics is the fact that they're short and that's la brava from my hero academia what do you think final thoughts should they watch i think that this is a wholesome cute little anime romantic anime thank goodness they have had a conversation before and they're moving towards something more because oh my god if they had never talked before and he was like i love her because she's 
cute and stuff. And oh my God, she touched me. I would vomit because that's just ew. Yeah. Anywho, I like that this is set in an office because as an adult, it's nice to just see stuff about people my age and not a bunch of borderline children. Yes, yeah, so I see people who can go out and get their own dinner and like drink and stuff and like go to parties and such not like oh we just see each other in school and in class and when you run track in the afternoon or something it's definitely a nice change of pace i find the chibi sections a little weird i'm not really sure where they decided to go that route but overall i like the art style i think the story is fine i think they really need to flesh out their characters a little more going forward otherwise this is going to fall flat very very quickly but overall i think it's one of the better romantic animes i've seen they have normal interactions with each other unlike the ice guy and his cool female colleague where they have very weird interactions they act like people so that's exciting i think this we is just, something we just met her voice actor the one who plays the cool female colleague we did and it was a great interaction yeah she was nice she was not at all awkward and weird like her character on that show but we did <laughs> back to the subject i think I, this is an anime you should check out yeah which I, is weird i don't usually promote the romance i'm also gonna pretty much double down on everything that you said and say that you should give it a shot if you don't like it after three episodes then you probably just don't like the romance aspect of it and that's probably what you're going to get for the most part of the rest of the series so give it the first three episodes i definitely think it's a worth a watch something else that's worth the watch is the should you watch content here on the channel leave a comment down below on what is your favorite romance anime have you checked out any of the stuff that's going on in this summer 2023 anime season like the video if you like it and subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future and ring that bell so you know what's up and we'll catch you in the next one bye guys